Hi, my name is Maureen Hogan, and this presentation will present the key elements of a research proposal that I developed while par participating in a mixed methods research course at Northern Illinois University. The title of the proposal is Exploration of the Impact of Mobile Phone Usage During Online Learning, a Mixed Methods Study. And in this presentation, I will review some of the key points of the proposal, including um, the research problem, the theoretical framework, the literature review, and the methodology. The first part of this presentation is going to be an overview of some of the introductory matter in the proposal. The number of um, courses being offered online is increasing drastically. Uh, today, 5.8 million students are estimated to be engaged in some sort of online course. Um, current research suggests that there's also an increase in mobile phone usage. And so because of that, people, society is starting to see problematic phone usage. Extensive research in face-to-face -face has been done and the impact about the impact of mobile phone use. Uh, it's been looked at as being distracting um, mobile phones as, as a learning tool, but no research has been done on the impact of cell phones in distance education and in particular in problematic phone usage um, and how that impacts um, engagement with course content. So why mixed methods? Well, most of the research um, in Flow covers a wide variety of research methods, but mixed methods is frequently used in Flow research. And one of the reasons that is, is because Flow is, is a self-reported psychological state. So mixed methods allows for a deeper understanding of what is going on during um, what is reported as a Flow state. Um, it's also been shown to be an effective tool for content analysis for cognitive presence in online learning in such things such as discussion board analysis. And the final reason why mixed methods will be a great methodology for this study is that it will give a deeper insight into the quantitative results um, that come from things like the log files in the, um, in the uh, course. In this section, I'm going to highlight some of the details about the purpose for this research and the questions that were developed to um, out of the flow framework. The purpose of this study is to discover the impact that mobile phone usage, in particular what problematic phone usage has on the flow state in web-based courses. Uh, cell phone addiction is increasing rapidly as more and more people own and use smartphones on a regular basis for a lot of different things. According to a 2015 survey conducted by the Pew Research Center, nearly 64% of American adults own cell phones. Many of those people are cell phone dependent, which means that that is their only link um, to the internet. So they don't have an internet connection in their homes and they don't have an alternate phone either. So there's not any research that looks at um, problematic phone usage in online learning, as I've said before. So that is the purpose of this study, is that we're going to look at four constructs. We're going to look at problematic phone usage, social interaction, knowledge acquisition, and content engagement with content. It's a going to be a, um, because uh, it's exploratory, uh, mixed methods makes perfect sense to do it, um, or to do this study. Um, and I um, chose a triangulation design with a parallel database because it's um, this type of study is the easiest for people who are new to mixed methods and um, I do have you know I can I'm going because I have a um, a population um, that is convenient for sampling a collecting the data at the same time during the course makes perfect sense so I'm going to be collecting the data um, the sample will be drawn from a Midwestern community college setting, and um, I'm going to collect 
both quantitative and qualitative data at the same time with the qualitative um, questions embedded in the survey that is administered after each activity there I did find a lot of debate that that wasn't really a true qualitative um, study um, but because they're open-ended questions I don't know that they can necessarily be categorized as qual quantitative so using flow theory as a framework uh, this study is going to investigate the dynamics of cell phone use student engagement um, with the content of the course social interaction and knowledge acquisition um, in the study the quantitative instruments will be used to um, investigate the impact that the cell phone use has on students participation and knowledge acquisition in particular I'm looking to see if there is a difference if students are actually if they have if there are students that have problematic phone use and if those are the students that struggle um, in online courses qualitative methods will be used to understand what students perceptions of their cell phone use are and um, there's their perceptions of the social interaction of the um, course their engagement with the content and their knowledge acquisition in particular I want to find out if they even if they perceive that they have problematic cell phone usage and if there is um, if they engage or disengage because of the phone so what I'm trying to do the purpose of this is to either find out if that's you know based on the quantitative data if that's truly what's going on or if if there's a way to discover reasons why students engage or disengage from the course content um, so that's one of the reasons um, why I think a mixed methods approach will be um, really effective in this study so finally in the mixed methods research question what I'm hoping to achieve is to kind of look at the quant and qual strands together and see what differences there are between those who report that they have problematic phone usage and those that don't so um, I want to see what differences there are and I want to see if um, if um, maybe there's something in their social and I also want to see if there's people who experience flow but are still engaged um, who's still report problematic phone usage and then vice versa so I think that that mixed methods pulling all of it together will help to answer that question so in the literature view um, I'm just going to highlight the flow theory instead of going through every construct really in depth because you know this is a I don't want to make this too long of a presentation the concept of flow uh, result came out of research that a man named Mahai Chicks Mahai in the 1970s did in studying creativity there were nine characteristics of flow and he categorized them in three stages he said first you had to have certain characteristics that set up the flow experience then there were characteristics of the experience of flow itself and then finally there was what happened after flow the effect of it um, basically the flow theory is that if a person has a balance between his skill set and the challenge of an activity then he will be in optimal flow if however it is too challenging for a person or the activity is too challenging and they don't have the skills to do the activity they're going to experience anxiety if however their skills are too high or they're too um, to uh, masterful then what's going to happen in that activity is that people become bored and disengaged antecedents are activities or situations that generate the state of flow they include things like the balance of challenge and skills as I said before they also include clear goals which most online courses have as part of the um, design and immediate feedback which also can be incorporated in terms of quizzes so feed and peer reviews the experience of flow itself 
um, had five characteristics, uh, merging of action awareness, loss of consciousness or self-consciousness, concentration, possibility that they have control over what they're doing, and the transformation of time. And finally, the effect of flow was that autotelic experience. It was um, liking the experience for the sake of the experience, and he called that autotelic. So to understand that flow state and to understand the impact that cell phone use has, um, the methodology I'm going to use is looking at four basic constructs. Uh, problematic phone usage, knowledge acquisition, student engagement with content, and social interaction. Data collection will be done with um, three different surveys. The pre and post course knowledge survey will be an examination of how much knowledge they have about the content before they take the course and how much they have after. And then a smartphone addiction inventory, which has been um, shown to be reliable and used in multiple studies, will be used to find out which people have, if people have um, addiction. And the experience sampling method, which is a um, survey that has been shown to um, um, measure flow experiences. Participants will be undergraduate students and they will be in an online course and in a Midwestern community. The sampling strategy that we'll be using is convenient sampling. There are some advantages and limitations to that sampling strategy. It's simplicity in sampling. Um, it makes research easy and you can collect data in a short time period. But the limitations are that you have a high sampling area error, there's selection bias, and you really can't generalize this to a larger population. The research design is a mixed methods convergent, which means that I'm going to collect the quantitative and qualitative data, and then I'm going to compare and relate that data after I analyze it and then interpret it. 